Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcraft, and today I've got kind of another boxing or unboxing video. I've got a few new products from 1617.com, a website that I've talked about many times on this channel, and a website that pops up a lot in the DIY candle making group. So very excited and i got sent these vessels and this wax before i went on vacation so i wanted to hurry up and get back and actually show you guys these vessels uh because they're really nice uh very excited to test these ones out and i know a lot of people have been asking about this one so uh we're just going to go ahead and jump right into these and i'm going to go ahead and show you these if you're new to the channel my name is jeff uh, i make candles i do a lot of candle making tutorials and basically just go through and show you my trial and errors as i basically try to build a candle business and hopefully teach others how to create their own candle business uh if you want to see the candles that I make myself. They're on my website, stanleyhandcrafted.com. I've got all the links in the video description down below, along with all the social media platforms that you can follow me on, Facebook, Instagram, my website, and of course my other channel, youtube.com slash Jeff Stanley, where I go into uh, basically more than just candles. I talk about like the cameras, tech, the lighting that I use, everything like that. Uh, so it's a, another channel, kind of steps away from candles, but let's go ahead and jump right into this one. Uh, I got sent these, like I said, a week or two ago, uh, a little bit before I went on vacation, so I kind of wanted to get back and get these on. So uh, I, I, they sent me the Evermore containers. These are, these are some new containers that they just got in, and I've got a couple different colors here, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Alabaster. We'll open up the Alabaster first. So I've got two different colors, the Alabaster and the Obsidian. And then we're gonna go ahead and just open up both of these. Uh, now I was looking on their website, these vessels themselves weigh in right around 17 and a half ounces. And you can see that nice silver ring right around the top of that. Very nice, very solid vessels. These things are really nice. Uh, the fill on these is right around 13 or 14 ounces. And that's the gold right there. Extremely nice. Uh, I really like these containers. I'm real anxious to get in and, and do some testing with these. It's uh, very clear on the outside. There's no like paint scratching. I've, I've showed some other containers on here before where you can kind of scratch the paint off the sides of those. The, uh, the ones I got from glassnow.com, uh, you have to be very careful with those because you can scratch these. Uh, there is not paint on the inside or the outside of these, so you're not gonna scratch that material and uh, kind of have some exposed areas but extremely nice. They're a little bit wider. I'd have to look on the website again to see exactly how wide those are. I imagine we're gonna be doing probably a pretty wide wood wick in that one. I'm thinking the 0.75 might be in that one. Uh, but if we're doing cotton wicks, this is wide enough to where we're probably gonna do some testing with dual wicks. So it's probably gonna be double wick. I don't know that we'll be able to get a single wick in that. It's probably too wide, but extremely nice. I like these a lot. All right, wrap these back up and we'll break out the obsidian ones. Now the obsidian ones are definitely the ones I like. And I believe right now the colors that they have are the, the basically the white and the black. And that is, I mean, just look how clean that is. Those are so freaking nice. And I've got the links uh, to these in the video description down below. So it's 1617.com. These are extremely nice. This one with the silver rim. And again, like I said, the, the paint is, I mean, it's not painted on the inside. It's not painted. Uh, very nice vessels and these are another one uh, that you could definitely put this in kind of an upper end line you can definitely get a higher price for these this is not going to be a 10 15 dollar candle uh these i mean that right there the black and gold just looks amazing really nice like i said well constructed it's uh you don't have the the clear at the bottom that you see with some and that's usually a sign of just painted on the inside and it's clear on the outside you can see like a, a clear or the black through the through the bottom of it you can't really see that at all with that one just a touch maybe right there at the bottom but these are really nice and like i was saying uh you could easily go I mean, depending on who's selling these, you could easily do 30 plus to these, or you could easily do 30 plus for these. Uh, I mean, probably even stretching 40 to 50, depending on your area and your market. 
I'm not usually a fan of gold, but that gold is absolutely amazing. I love that. The black and silver is really nice, but that gold just stands out. So like I said, we're gonna go through and do a bunch of testing with these, the white ones, the black ones. We're gonna do a couple different waxes and we're gonna do the wax that they sent me too, which is their new Soy Bliss. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that one up and we'll take a look at it. And I don't know how long these have been out, but if you do have these or if you have used these, let me know what you think of them in the video description down below. I haven't seen these really pop up in the DIY Facebook group too much yet, so I don't know that many people are using those, uh, but definitely jump over and give them a try. If you're looking for a high-end vessel, these are definitely it. And then we're gonna go ahead. And this, I mean, first of all, presentation is amazing. 1617 really does a good job with this stuff. So that is it right there. That's the basically the brick of their new Soy Bliss Wax. And we'll go through and do a full review on this stuff. I'm gonna do it in these vessels, of course, and we're gonna test this wax with a bunch of different wicks. But fresh out, can't really see that too well. It's so bright. Um, very nice, solid wax. Uh, it comes in a brick form, not flake. So it is a little bit more, it, it's look, it, brick form. It's looking a little bit more like the 6006. It's kind of got an off-white color. It's not a yellow like the 6006 can get sometimes. Uh, it's not a pure white like uh, like other soys, but this is really nice. I, it's, I mean, it's pretty white. It, if, if it's off-white at all, it's barely, but very excited to try this stuff. You can see right there, it's a little bit sticky to the touch, which is nice because that'll help with glass adhesion. Very curious to try this stuff, so we'll be testing this out for sure. Okay, and jumping over to their website, uh, the Soy Bliss Crown Jewel of Container Blends. Soy Bliss, easy to work with, smooth tops, uh, every pour, never has sinkholes, uh, it requires no pour overs, that's a second pour, so if you get holes, sometimes people will uh, melt more wax and pour it in there. So Soy Bliss needs small wicks, they recommend CDN. I do have some CDN wicks downstairs, we'll go through, we're gonna test out the CDN, the CDs, uh, I've got HDPs, I don't have the new HDPs in, but we're gonna test that one as well. So the temperatures on this one, they recommend heating to 200, adding fragrance oil immediately, so you're, they're looking at like 200 to 190, anywhere in that range, we'll test that out. We'll do uh, 200, 190, 180. Uh, obviously Obviously, adding oil at the higher temps helps to uh, bind with the oil and the wax a little bit better. So Soy Bliss can accommodate fragrance loads of 10 to 12% with most fragrance oils. And again, that's with a lot of waxes. Some, some waxes are a lot heavier. So adding 12% of say a vanilla, a very vanilla from Candle Science, that's a real thick oil. So adding 12% of that one. Uh, it might seep out a little bit. So we'll do some testing with that one. I, I do a lot of testing with vanilla, cinnamon, as everybody knows. And then of course the melt point on this one is right around like soy. It's 127 to 132 degrees. So we'll, we're gonna take everything out. We're gonna heat it all up. We'll do some testing with this one and see exactly how it does. Uh, very anxious to try this wax out. And again, I'll have to reach out to 1617 and find out what the uh, soy bliss is actually made of. Uh, obviously soy, and there's probably something else in there. I don't know what it is. So I'll reach out when I do the full test testing on that one, we'll find out what the wax ratio is, if it's blended with anything, or if it's just a straight soy. But that's pretty much it with this one. Just wanted to show off the new containers. Very excited to get these in. I know a lot of people were asking about these. And of course, everybody out there is looking for vessels, not only the vessels that are in stock, but people are looking for vessels that they can create an upper end or kind of a high end candle line with, and these are definitely it. And again, if you have been using this wax or these vessels, please let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. Try to go through, answer those, and update that for the future video that comes out with the wax and these vessels. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed down below, Facebook, my website, Instagram, the phone number if you wanna sign up for text alerts. When stuff like this comes in stock, I usually send, send out alerts letting people know that there is new stock in, which is huge right now, especially with shipping delays and everything, glasses out everywhere. So every time I see a new stock come in, I try to let everybody know. So definitely sign up for that if you want uh, text alerts like that. You can also send me questions through that. And the phone number is 253 
303-703-7968. And if you're looking for how to make candle tutorials uh, outside of the videos, I do have eBooks on my website. Uh, those eBooks are full color, step-by-step -step instructions. They have a lot of tips in there. They cover all the heating temperatures, uh, fragrance loads, everything like that. What to look out for, tips and tricks for different waxes. So if you're looking for Soy 464, 6006, Cocoa Apricot, Coconut Soy, Joy Wax, anything like that, I do have books to all those waxes on my website, stanleyhandcrafted.com. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.